so guys what's going on i hope you guys are well i hope you guys are staying safe i hope everything's good wherever you guys are so guys um steven espinoza uh made a comment saying that saul alvarez will also fight jamal as well he goes jamal is included in the three fight deal so it looks like jamel and jamal are gonna get the both brothers are gonna be very wealthy uh it seems like both of them are gonna get um the canelo fights um look i i think jamal is obviously at middle way i don't like i think the fight we want to see is the benavidez fight you know jamal I, i'm not that interested in that you know i'd rather see rather than jamal i'd rather see andre to be honest with you, like, I don't really, I'm not really interested in Jamal. I think Jamal is okay. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a weight, it's a weight jump for Jamal, but I think Jamal, not so much. I'm not that interested. I think I'd rather see Andre and Benavidez, to be honest with you. Um, imagine if he fights Jamal, then fights Spence and, and it's not Benavidez. I mean, that's going to be really poor. I'm, I'm sorry to say that's not going to be acceptable. I, I don't think if he doesn't fight Benavidez in those three fights, I mean, I think Benavidez has to be in those three fights. I'm, uh, uh, like, uh, to be honest, if he fights Jamal, fights Benavidez, I ain't got a problem with that. But if he fights Jamal, then ends up fighting Spence, then that's just, that. that is just, that is, that's taking the mick. Do you know what I mean? That is literally taking the mick and taking us for, a, like, for mugs, really. I mean, because that that those fights aren't acceptable. I mean, one's a welterweight that will be moving up. Uh, you know, like people accepted this one. This is a, this is a, this is a, uh, this is a uh, light middleweight. And look, people say, oh, well, Khan was bigger than, Khan. that doesn't, no, he wasn't. Just because a guy is taller, just because a guy is, that doesn't mean he's bigger. And I've said this many times, like, like when someone's moving up, they can make 154 pounds. Canelo right now cannot make 154 pounds. If Canelo tried to make 154 pounds, he would, he would become seriously ill. And it would be dangerous for Canelo, right? He couldn't physically make that anymore. He couldn't. I'd even go as far as saying that he'd struggle to make 160. That would be a, a stretch, a massive stretch for Canelo at this point in his career. Yeah? So, like, it's okay if he's going to fight Jamal and then fight Benavidez. But Benavidez has to be in one of those one of those three fights. Because you can't be say, you can't be fighting all three guys that are, are smaller than you. People say, oh, well, well uh, you know, Jamal and Jamel, they're bigger than... No, they're not. They're not bigger. They're not bigger than Canelo. They're not. They're not bigger than Canelo. Canelo's moved up weights and fork uh, weight categories, but they're not bigger than Canelo. They're not. Just because they're taller, they don't they don't make you bigger. Canelo's very big. He's very, very big. Yes, he's fought at lower weight classes before because of his height, but he's actually a very, very big man. I mean, Liam Smith, Amir Khan was a little taller than Canelo. Is he a bigger guy than Canelo? No. Canelo's built differently. Canelo, Canelo's build is is massive. It's one of those guys. You know, you get those guys that aren't the tallest, but they're wench. They're just like they're, they're so stocky. Canelo's like that. Canelo's wench, he's hench, he's stocky, he's, he's just, he's got that kind of body shape built like a Hulk, a house, you know what I mean, he's just so, like, Jamal Charlo and Jamel Charlo are different, they're muscular, they're tall, they're athletic build, Canelo's like, he's just, he's just a monster, you know what I mean, he's built like a house, there's a difference, you know, Canelo's, Canelo's not like Jamal, Jamel, their physiques are, are different, you know, their physiques are more athletic build, Canelo's not really athletic build, he's more of a, of a thick set, like, stocky, uh, bit, like, stocky, it's not in stocky in terms of, like, chubby, stocky in terms of built, but, like, built differently, built like a house, like, he's got thick skin, you know, uh, thick, just his, just his whole body's just thick, and, and his neck is massive, his back is massive. You know, he's just a big guy. Just overall big dude. Big calves, big legs, you know, big arms, big, you know, big. He's just big. Canelo's just thick. He's just very thick set guy. So, for me, you, Canelo is bigger. He is big. He's very big. He might not be big in terms of height, but that doesn't make you, that doesn't mean that he's not big. Canelo's massive. And even when he goes up weight, he carries his weight well, uh, you know, to uh, higher weight classes. Just what the problem is that Canelo has is Canelo's small. Uh, and obviously, as he puts on size, it's going to make him slower. But in terms of his size, Canelo is a big, he's a big man. He's not, he's not 
uh, people say, oh, well, Canelo's short. That short don't mean anything. I mean, there's many guys. Mike Tyson was what? How tall, short compared to other heavyweights? But he was massive. He was a huge heavyweight. You know, yeah, he wasn't tall, but he was massive. He was built like he was built like Incredible Hulk. Mike Tyson was. And Canelo's a bit like that for his weight class. Mike Tyson wasn't a small heavyweight, was he? Yeah, small in terms of height. But in terms of his build, he was built like a Hulk. Just because a guy's not tall, that doesn't mean he's not, uh, you know, and he's built like Incredible Hulk. That What does that mean? That don't mean he's, he was, that's how he was, that's how he was built. He was built like a monster, Tyson. And Canelo's no different. So Canelo is a bigger man here. Canelo is, he's, 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 he's very big, very strong, uh, thick set. Um, he just doesn't have the athletic build that a chum, ch the Charlos have. He doesn't. He's not athletically built like that. But he's massive, though. He's a big. He's a big, thick set. So, yeah, for me, that's that. That's uh, that's um, that's okay. I like the Jamel fight. I think that's a good fight. I'm okay with the Jamel fight. I don't got a problem with Jamel fight. I, I think the Jamel fight is really good. It's just that if he was to fight Jamal next, then it, you know, I, I don't know. I just. I'm not that keen on that fight. I'd rather him jump in with Benavidez and or Andrade. I think they're better fights. But maybe, obviously, Andrade, I don't know what's going on. Is he with PBC? I don't know what's going on with him. But yeah, I would like to see Canelo fight uh, uh, Dim Dimitris Andrade and then fight Benavidez. I think that would be probably the best uh, route. But, you know, if he fights Jamal and then fights Benavidez, I ain't got a problem with that either. But if he fights Jamal and then fights Spence, and then, oh, that that's going to be that's going to be there's going to be a lot of criticism thrown at Canelo so Canelo look Canelo knows he needs to fight Benavidez you can't sign you can't sign with um Al Heyman and then not fight the guy that people want you to fight you know because that that would be seen as um yeah that that won't to be taken too kind by uh the boxing public public because they want to see Canelo fight the best and Benavidez right now is seen as his number one challenger so he needs to fight Benavidez I don't think I don't think there's any getting around that I think Benavidez is a fight he must take however if he fights Jamal next and then fights Benavidez I don't think anyone's gonna have a problem with that but if he fights Jamal and then ends up going for a Spence fight then I think that's gonna that's gonna get Canelo a lot of criticism so yeah the Benavidez fight has to be made it has to be made, you know, irrespective, Canelo has to make that fight. Come what may, that fight is going to have to be made. It's going to have to be made because you can't then say, oh, Benavidez has done nothing. You can say if, if Canelo fights Jamal, you could say he's done nothing. Jamal Charlo, if Canelo fights Jamal next, um, then, you know, you can't say, well, you know, well, Benavidez has done nothing when Benavidez beat Plant, you know, um, so yeah, uh, Canelo will have to fight. Uh, Canelo will have to eventually fight um, Benavidez, in my opinion, because that's the fight a lot of people want to see. I think Canelo beats Benavidez. I think he beats him comfortably. So I don't know why there'd be any problem because I don't really think that. I don't really think Canelo will have much problem. Huh? Like I think Canelo's a better fighter with Benavidez, to be honest. Uh, some people actually think Morel is going to beat Benavidez. A lot of people actually think Morel is going to beat Benavidez. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Morel beats Benavidez? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if Ben. Uh, I don't know if he beats Benavidez. To be honest, uh, I think that's a good fight. I think I was impressed by Benavidez against Plant. So I think uh, I think that performance was very impressive, uh, and I think that performance deserves a lot of respect. Uh, to be honest with you, so I think Benavidez is somebody that I think it has to be taken very seriously, and Morel again is very unproven so we don't really know how good Morel is but he looks good he looks technically very sound very good so again he may he may be the real deal but I'd like to see him fight uh I'd like to see him fight some of the some of the the top the the major names uh in in the 168 pound division but if he beats if he beats uh Benavidez then he becomes the 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 guy that people want to see Canelo fight so that's going to be interesting is Canelo going to go uh and fight um if if Benavidez does lose, will he fight Morel instead? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, there's some interesting fights that can be made at 168. Uh, but I think Benavidez Canelo is on the top of the hit list. I want to give a shout out to Elizabeth Cobra. I know you've been asking me when I'm going to start doing the mythical matches that you've asked me. Uh, I will start eventually doing them as well. Just give me a bit of time. Uh, and I will start cracking them out as well. Or I'll start integrating them in, in into my videos, okay? Um, so yeah. 
uh, be patient and I will get them out there. But thank you, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.